Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. This is part two of my carousel series in Figma where I use components and variants to create beautiful carousels. This part two is a little more advanced than part one so I recommend you to start with my previous video so you fully understand how components and variants work. This part two has an arc animation when you drag to a different page and also allows you to change pages using the next and back arrow. As part one, we have the page indicator that has a smart animation every time you change pages. And I am really excited for this video because I personally think this is my favorite carousel. So let's get right into it. Okay, here in Figma, I have two pages. I have the components page where I'll be creating all the components. And then I have a design page where I'll be using my components in a wireframe. So first let's start with a page indicator. And for that, I need to create three dots. So I'll press the letter O and start creating the dots. I need a big dot that will be eight pixels. And then I need two smaller dots that will have half the size. So it will be four pixels. I will duplicate this one and I will change the names to the big one will be pointer and the other one's going to be dot one and dot two. Now I will put this under an auto layout. So I will press shift a, I will center this and I will change the spacing to eight pixels. Also, I want to change this to black. Once I have this, I can make it a component pressing option command K. And I want two variants of these components. So I create a one variant and then again, the second variant. And I want to change this property to page. And the first one will be page one, second one, page two, and then the third one, of course, page Sorry, page three. Now, instead of changing the size of the second dot to have the move animation, I need to actually move my pointer to the to the middle position here. And for that, it's very simple. Once you have it under an auto layout, you just press shift and the direction where you want to move and it automatically exchanges the position with the next item. So now we have my page indicator. I will change the name to page indicator. Okay, so now let's create the arrow to change pages. For that, I will use a plugin for the icon. I will look for Iconify. You probably already know this plugin at this point because I use it in almost all my tutorials. So I look for Iconify and I look for right. And here I wanna use this one. I will change the name to next icon and I will make it a component. Now I need a frame. So I press F and I want the size to be 56. I want this to be a circle. So I change this to 50. I add a stroke here and I wanted the color to be light gray. And I want to remove the white background. Now inside my circle, I want to use an instance of my next icon. So I select the frame and I look for shift I and here I look for next icon. Press enter and automatically goes inside my frame because I was selecting that frame. And just in case I will make this an auto layout and I will center it. And now I will make it a component and call it button next. Okay, so now I will build my main banner. I will do this really quick, all the styling and formatting of this banner because it's not actually related to the animation of the carousel. Okay, now I have the step one and I want to show the plugin I used to complete this subheader. So to create a text layer and then you look for 
plugin and the, this the plugin call is called Lauren Ipsum and here you can select how many sentences you want to generate I generate one sentence and automatically fills with random text very useful when creating wireframes so now I made this a component so I need two more instances I will do the formatting and styling of the step two and three now The next step is very simple. If you're finding this tutorial useful, please go at the bottom of this video and like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it only takes you a couple of seconds. Okay, now let's create the component that will give us this arc animation. And for that, I need an instance of my main banner. And I want to duplicate these two times because I need the other pages. I will group these elements or I will put it under a frame. I will click here on frame selection and I will change the variance to step two and step three, the ones I duplicate. And now I need to position these other two. So I have this arc and animation when I change pages. So I move this to the right and don't worry if the component goes out of your frame when you are moving it, we're going to put it back once we finish position them. So I move it to the right, I change this to minus 30 degrees. Sorry, I change this to minus 30. And then I move it vertically. Here we don't need to be very precise, we just need to imagine having an arc here. So let's do the same for the component on the left. Let's move it to the left. This one will be 30 degrees. And let's move it vertical. I need to adjust it like that. And now make sure to move it back to your frame. And let's try to keep always the order. So otherwise we'll have these change of order animation when we change pages and we don't want that. So let's always keep the step one on top, step two in the middle and step three last. Once I have this frame with the, with the other components located i want an instance of my page indicator so i click on shift i and look for page indicator and i want to locate this of course in the middle and put these two under a frame and i want to adjust this distance to be 30. once i have these two group i want to create a component so option command k and i want two instances of this component and i will I'm clip the content so I see the position of these other elements and I want to make this an auto layout so I will press on shift A and I will adjust the, the spacing between these two so I have more freedom to change them. So for page one, I want the step one to be in the middle and a step two and three to be here. So I will remove this element and I will duplicate this one and I will change the step on the one underneath to be option three. And there you go. We have option one in the middle and option two and three on the right. So now for page two, I want the op step two to be on the middle. So I will change this to step two. I will change this to step one and this will be step three and i want to keep the order to be the one on top to be up step one the one in the middle of step two and the one underneath that step three and for page number three i want this one in the middle to be step three i want to delete this one because i want my other two pages to be on my left so i will duplicate this one and i will change the one underneath to be step one and I will keep the order to move the step one on top step two in the middle and a step three underneath that so there you go and also I will change the name of this one to be drag container and I want to change the variant to be page and let's change it to the first one to be page one 
page two and page three. And now I need to adjust my page indicator. This one will be page one, that's fine. This one will be page two and the last one, page three. Okay, now that we finish our drag container, we can go on my design page and I look for an instance of my drag container here and I'll position it in the middle and I can see how it looks on my prototype. Of course, we will not have any animations yet, but I wanted to keep it open because we're going to be working on the animations now. So let's start first with the arrows. So let's select this arrow, go to the next page, page number two. And I want this to be on click, a smart anime, dental and 400. So let's do the same for the back arrow here. Page number two. On click, Smart Anime Gentle 400. Again, arrow next. Page number three, same settings. And this one go to page number two. So now let's see how it looks on my prototype. If I click the arrow, I have this gentle animation, page number two, and I have the page indicator also changing. So now let's work on the drag animation. For the drag animation, the secret is to select the main component or the main banner in our case, not the frame that goes on top of that. So make sure to select the main banner, otherwise you will have a weird effect and it will not work. So select the main banner, go to the page number two, change this to drag and the same settings here, smart anime, gentle 400 milliseconds. Same for this page number two, select the main banner, go for page number one, drag, same settings, main banner again, page number three, drag, smart anime, gentle 400, and now page number three, main banner to page number two, on drag. Now let's go and see our prototype. Let's have this beautiful animated drag animation with the gentle spring at the end and the page indicator. And that's it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something useful. And if you did, please like the video if you haven't yet. And if you want to learn more about product design, Figma, Protopie, subscribe to my channel and see you on my next video. Bye bye.